look at the paper that I'm a pediatric cardiologist uh, in Port Elizabeth. We are in the in the cardiac catheterization laboratory at P Provincial Hospital. Uh, we had a patient that had an atrial septal defect, a hole in the upper chambers of the heart, and we had to assess this patient for possible closure of this device in the cardiac catheterization laboratory. So the first thing we do, we put them under general anesthesia and uh, then uh, we do an ultrasound scan of the heart, which is the echocardiogram. And this ultrasound must be done under general anesthesia because it's a transesophageal, like a gastroscope. So, and uh, we stick the tube down the esophagus you know, and down the throat and see whether uh, the size of the defect and whether it's available to closure in the cardiac catheterization laboratory. So that's the first thing we did, and then after that, we then did the actual cardiac catheterization procedure to measure the pressures in the heart, both the left heart and the right heart. And then we did balloon sizing, which also we must do uh, via the cardiac catheterization and also through the ultrasound scan to measure the size of the balloon, which measures the size of the hole in the heart. And then we did balloon sizing outside the heart where we use a sizing plate. So when we looked at all our measurements, it would appear as though, even though this hole can be closed in the cardiac catheterization laboratory, the actual length, the total length of the heart is too small for the device to sit at the moment. However, when we assess the patient, the pressures are still normal. So we will wait until the patient grows up a little bit. So, but uh, we've got a long waiting list and these procedures uh, can actually be done in the cardiac catheterization laboratory. It's something that has been mastered in the whole world that now they are done in the cardiac catheterization laboratory. It cuts a lot on the waiting list plus it's very socially acceptable to patients. There are no scars, no bypass, no chest pains, no stenotomy, no open heart. So it's easy. And you only keep them in hospital one day? Overnight, yeah. Night. It's an okay. overnight procedure and then they go home. If, um, say, the little girl that we, you're going to do now, if she had to have this as open heart surgery, how long would she have to stay in hospital? It would take for at least a week because now we're talking about open heart, arresting the heart bypass and all those sorts of things. So there's quite a lot that needs to be done with her. And it would be, because she has a complex heart, it would take several procedures to sort yeah. it but then we've decided we're going to get rid of the other abnormalities just by doing them in cardiac